sugar doesn't matter know, how many day. crunches you do basically. no you're not you're still <laughs> gonna have a layer of fat and of course that helps you need to work those muscles you need to build them but you need to eat healthy so I'm here to help you milk hunter oh my goodness <laughs> food gave you diseases oh my oh, god no. what food gave you diseases I'm very curious to know if that's Is with it turtle yeah, I'm a vegetarian and she's a pescatarian, yeah. so I want, yeah, that's a good question. It might have been me. Do that again. Hey, Brian Bourne, <laughs> all female friends are single to mingle now, and you too and me too. <laughs> what? Yo, Manny says you look hot. Thank you. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Lone Wolf, no cubs. I came here for the smiles and abs. Yeah. Ooh. All right, guys. <laughs> so good to see everybody. Well, see all your usernames. <laughs> um... William Bowman, hey, what's going on? And we got uh, Yelsu, Yelsu SB. Send a kiss for your fans from Brazil. Nice, we got a lot of Brazil people up in here. I'm actually like considering going to Brazil next month. Have you ever been? No, that would be amazing. Milk is not good for you, so healthy foods aren't all healthy. Oh, why don't you tell them that story you told me about milk that freaks me out. Which one? It was the first thing you ever told me about what they do to the cows. Oh, yeah. That was the, this is the first thing. When she told me this story, <laughs> it made me give up milk forever, like cow milk. Now I'll have coconut milk, almond milk, yeah. soy milk, but I will not drink cow milk ever again after she told me this story years ago. So that's so cows are definitely not treated well. Um, they are, you know, overfed and they are over milked. So I believe this is right, this part, but in order for a cow to produce milk, she has to be pregnant. So mm -hmm. she needs to stay pregnant all the time, which is not healthy. Yeah, that's just um, effed up. To yes. Be and so they Who wants to be pregnant their whole life? I feel so yeah, bad for these so cows. Bad. So they continue to like pump milk out of these poor cows and they get infections and they start producing nasty things around, you know, their, um, what are they called? Cows? Are they They're udders. They're udders? Udders, yeah. <laughs> okay. So they, you know, produce pus and all sorts of things and all of that is leaked into out your milk. We don't drink milk. But um, that's in right. order it's to infected pus, infected yep. pus because so, the udders, the machines yeah. are just pulling yeah. on the udders. So because stop. it's infected, they inject them with a whole bunch of 
hormones and not not hormones they inject them with a whole bunch of um gosh what is it called when you have anti antibiotics so the antibiotics eventually stop working we start drinking the antibiotics and then we're not going to benefit from antibiotics anymore either because we have so much in our system so when we get sick antibiotics don't work for us either um, milk is just not. Petruvia and I want to get you pregnant. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you guys are so funny. No, but seriously though, imagine the fact that before the cow milk gets to you, there's the pus yeah. and the blood yeah. all mixed into the milk, hormones, and they have to and hormones, antibiotics, and they filter all yeah. that shizzing it out yeah. before it gets to you, and you put it in but your body. But it's not filtered out. That's what it is. I mean, filtered out to yeah. the best of its ability. It was yeah. there. It mm -hmm. was there is my point. But you drink that. And that's why milk is so fattening, too. It's just... Yeah. Anyway, I've never touched... I love cows so much. I lived in India. They worship the cows in India. And they're adorable. But do not drink the milk. Do not support milk because these poor cows are pregnant all the time. All that pus and yeah. all that blood and all those hormones and all those antibiotics are going into the milk because they constantly have these machines milking these constantly pregnant cows so all bad. the time, guys. So, so please, I'm telling you, stay away from milk. And, um, you know, the, we have so many other options, and that's great. Almond, Almond milk tastes milk, amazing. Coconut milk. You know what I've been drinking? Milk. Hazelnut milk. I love oh, hazelnut milk. That's like that. my new thing. They even have hazelnut chocolate milk. Mmm, mm, so good. Yeah, hemp milk I haven't tried yet. It's How's that one? It's very good. Hemp milk is yeah, good? Delicious. Yeah, I like the almond milk, There's hazelnut milk. milk. Hemp milk is good because it's a little bit thicker mm. for coffee. Okay. So I like to drink it. Yeah. You know what I've actually been doing? I've been making homemade almond milk and cashew milk. Oh you would God. be so proud of me. I am so proud yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. Ca cashew milk is like really a, good. A, the, I'll tell you what I do. Of, I get raw cashews from yeah. Trader Joe's, and then I soak the cashews overnight in filtered water. Then you rinse them the next morning, and you add more filtered water. Put them in any type of Nutribullet or Ninja type of blender. You add some cinnamon, some vanilla extract, and some coconut nectar, and you blend all that together, and oh it tastes God. amazing. You do the same thing with almonds. That sounds so good. Mm -hmm. I thought you needed, um, it's like this out of this cloth, this uh, like cheese cloth. So yeah, like, um, you can uh, take one of those, um, I forgot what they're called, like a, it's like a mesh trainer, yeah. if you don't want it to be like as thick. If you want it to be like when you buy almond milk, how it's just pure, yeah. you know, watery type texture, mm -hmm. but I actually like it to have the creamy texture. Oh. So, um, and what's great about the Ninja Nutribullet, it pulverizes that yeah. stuff into you know, if you're you putting it in, in a regular things? blender, um, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. I made some I today. You can have some. Yeah, <laughs> later. Um, yeah, if you're like, um, if you're using a regular blender, then th that doesn't fully pulverize like a Ninja or a Nutribullet, then you're gonna need one of those mesh strainers to, yeah. to, to you know, take the the, um, the chunks out. But um, but otherwise, yeah. So that's like my new favorite thing right now, and I knew you'd be so proud of that. I've been dying to tell you that. That's. She Great. is my health coach, guys. In case you guys were wondering, like I've actually, I, I've hired her as my health coach. I've worked with her. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend her. She's Thanks. the reason why I became a vegetarian and why I changed my diet and why hopefully I'll live a lot longer now than I would have. Yes, here's the thing with diets: not every diet works for everyone. You know, every single person is different. So I can say, okay, Cheryl, become a vegan and. You know, it might work for you, it might not. You might not feel well doing a vegan diet. Yeah. Others might. So it's that's what health coaching is. I mm. You can look up any diet in the world. What do you need me for? That's not why you need me because mm -hmm. the diets are all out there. What you need me for is to help you work through it. What This doesn't work for my body. I feel this way after, you know, I have greens. They give me a stomachache. What do I do now? Yeah. Oh, well, why don't you try this? Let me, you know, give you a suggestion that yeah. that might be better for you. So that's what health coaching is about. Um, Listening to Wesley says, what kind of diet do you guys follow? Well, I was vegan for two years, which means absolutely no animal products, no milk, no cheese, no eggs, just plant-based diet. Um, I tried beans. vegan. I lasted about a week, and then I needed some New York pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I lasted for two years, um, but then I needed, I felt like my body needed some more you know, some more nourishment in a different way. So I'm not going to say protein because that's what everyone always used to tell me when I was vegan, don't you need more protein. Yeah. There's actually a lot of plant-based proteins from like beans, from tofu, from green spinach, um, 
broccoli, kale, they all have protein. Yeah. So you could even buy like quinoa pasta to get exactly. the protein. Yeah, yeah. quinoa is quinoa amazing. They pasta. have eight grams of, of protein for every quarter cup, which is amazing. Hi Hazel, how are you? Yeah, we're from the Big Apple Dancers, and this is the beautiful Darlene. She owns AlignWithNature.net. Definitely check out her site. Have we ever tried the Paleo diet? I have not. I have not either. What do you think of it? Yeah, um, I, it's not for me because that's very much focused on meats. Mm -hmm. It's basically meat and greens. So nothing, no carbs. Rick nothing James, that, what up Rick James in the shadow? <laughs> it's no carbs? No carbs. God, that would it's, be really hard for Yeah, because it's a hunter, it's a hunter diet. So picture mm -hmm. something hunting, you don't have yeah. time so to like grow grains. Have and, meat and then yeah, chicken. it's all meat and yeah. greens. So that and that's, that's what hands. Daniel is, does pretty much. Um, it's not for me because I don't yeah okay so Petruvian is a big apple required in order to be a big apple dancer I'd like to think so <laughs> there are a lot of uh, girls with big apples on on my team but I also have a lot of like the tall skinny model s type girls too but, but the curvy ones yeah, definitely dominate the team that's for sure um let's see what other questions rice and beans got JLo that booty yeah me too <laughs> but I always blame my Puerto Rican booty on all the amazing rice and beans in PR um, you're wearing a wrap right now? No, you're not. I don't believe you. Are you being serious? Um, okay, so Willie Westside, thank you so much. Hey, Pimper. I'm good. How are you? Emmanuel, you know, we used to pretend we're sisters. We're kind of like sisters because we're that close of friends that, you know, you just, you're, you become family over time. No milk zone. J-O-B-Z. Yup. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> big booty boy. Oh, now there's a big booty boy in here. I was like, hold up. Are you talking about me? <laughs> okay, what's going on? Kiss from Night Tiger. Okay, apple bottom jeans. You're cool. Okay, all right, guys. So, um, hi, Kenny. Hi, William. Hi, Justin. Oh, this one already ended. See, I knew that one wasn't going to last. Um, ooh, my baby, AZ Mivatinalar. Some of these usernames are just <laughs> ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so I'm a vegetarian. She's a pescatarian. Mm -hmm. Which I, means that I eat fish as, um, as a protein. Okay. Not See, so I would love to be a pescatarian just to get, you know, that... I know it's like better. It's a better version of a vegetarian in a way. Not I feel. necessarily. Like I said, it's everyone's different. But a I just can't stand work. fish. I can't stand being in the same room as it. I can't but stand the smell of it. Smells. Salmon doesn't smell. But I also like when I imagine them on the hook. You know, like with bleeding, and it just and you think of Finding Nemo, and it's just oh I can't do it. Like I can't hurt any type of living creature. It just makes me too sad. And knowing that I was eating something that was once. No, it just makes me. But you eat the cheese, I'm, right? I eat cheese. Which comes from the milk. Which comes from the milk. <laughs> I know, I know. I but. know, we're all hypocrites. Um, <laughs> it's okay. We're trying but our you best. Have, you have cheese too, right? I do. Yeah. I do have cheese. Yeah. yeah. Maxed out. Kenny V. What up? What up? NWA305. Barkafan10. Barkafan10. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, so, I mean, what's, what are the benefits of, uh, of, you know, being a pescatarian? Well, um, like I said, I think every diet has its benefits to it. It depends on what it makes you feel like. Um, so for me, for me at this point, I like being a pescatarian because I have more options. I love cooking fish, um, and, you know, I have the protein, I have the, um, the omega-3 sixes that, yeah. that come from fish also. Um, I try to put flaxseed in yeah. like all of my smoothies every day in order to get those, you know, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. flaxseed is just such an easy thing to add yeah. to your salads, your smoothies. Oh. You can have a flaxseed egg. Have you done that ever? Um, that's when you soak the flaxseeds, right? And yeah. turns into like a gel yeah. and you can use it as an egg. Yeah. So, so if anyone egg. wants to bake and not use an egg or maybe you don't have an egg or if you want to make a vegan, um, bake good, you can make a flaxseed egg. So for every, like if you use a tablespoon of flaxseed, you use two tablespoons of water and you let it soak in the water for like five minutes. Okay. And then it becomes this 
jelly substance. So the flag seeds don't disintegrate. It just becomes like jelly enough that it'll hold whatever kind of baked good you're making, just like an egg would. Okay. Well, that's great because, you know, I also feel really bad, you know, the eggs because I think of them as being like little babies that's going to make it, you know? So yeah, if you, uh, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you want to make something that calls for eggs and there are egg substitutes out there, flaxseed is a great one. She yeah, just told you exactly egg. how um, to... Applesauce is another one that you could use. Really? You can substitute um, eggs. I think I've heard you could use like bananas or something too. Right? Sometimes I made um, a pancake. That would change the flavor a lot. Probably. Yeah, if you, some people don't like banana, yeah. but the other day I made a pancake uh, or pancakes with just three ingredients: um, mm -hmm. eggs, banana, and cinnamon. Like homemade pancakes, and they were delicious. But two eggs, one banana, and cinnamon. But you, but and pancake mix. No. What do you just mean? Just that, like I did. Where's, I don't There's understand. No I don't understand. So you, you're just you like throw in two eggs, mash a banana, mash a banana first, then throw in two eggs, beat it up, put a lot of cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon, and that's it. That's your batter. I never would have thought of that. Where yeah. did you find that? Or did you just create it? No, I didn't create it. I found it. Somewhere. It's on my Instagram, D underscore aligned with nature. Um, I gave a shout out to whatever website I found it on. Nice. But it was great. So that's easy. super cool. Yeah. Do I drink? You want to know? Um, I uh, I'm not a big drinker, but I do love white wine and I do love sangria and I do love mojitos. Margaritas. So uh, no, I don't like tequila. Uh, too many spring breaks in Mexico <laughs> during college. <laughs> yeah, she um, in college I always asked her to take a tequila shot with me. That's right. She didn't <laughs> I wouldn't do it. That's right, guys. We went to college together, guys. Binghamton That's where we University. met. We met Binghamton University, upstate Wait, did New you York. Talk about the rock no, no, no. Uh, we, yeah, we a little bit about our backgrounds real quick. Let's back it up. Um, we both graduated in 2006 from BU Upstate, and uh, and she was my first official Big Apple dancer because before I even officially started the company in New York, we were dancing at the clubs on like the downtown strip at college, believe it or not. And we were the first ones ever to do that. They never had that in the college town. Made. Yeah, yeah. They, we did a photo a shoot, photo shoot we got shirts made. We, went, we thought we were like so great and cool. We, uh, even the club even put the picture of our photo shoot yeah, like, up, like behind the bar. Well. Oh. And what was her husband's name? You got a better memory uh, than me. I don't even remember She's not that on much. Instagram too. I can't remember his name, but they were awesome. They Aww, it's Tom Fern. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Hugs to Logan. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Fern. Jobs, we just inspired you to work out. Yay! Hey. That's amazing. Then, I mean, it then we're like doing I our job. Well, you do. <laughs> How big was the reaction to my airbrush shirt video? I actually did a whole episode on that, talking about um, that entire experience. It's episode 20, if you want to go check it out um, in my uh, uh, on my YouTube, youtube.com slash Martinez. Look at episode 20. Next, I did an entire episode talking about the painted on shirt um, video. All right, guys. So, um, we're, oh, yeah, so we're talking about college. Yes. And how we met. And that's how, you know, we first started dancing, and it kind of inspired me to, when we moved to the city, you know, to start the Big Apple Dancers Company. So she was my first Big Apple Dancer, and I'll <laughs> never forget that. It was so fun with it the boas, was, and we would was. match, but not like global outfits, mm -hmm. and we're like, oh, Yeah, so. and, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, and then uh, she ended up not really doing so much Big Apple Dancer stuff lately, which is why you might not have seen her, because yeah. she's actually a new mom. Oh, Yay. Yay. So shout out to all the fit moms out there, too. I'm That's here to right. help you. That's right. Why don't you it's stand so up one more time? This girl had a baby, guys. She had a baby, and she looks like this, okay? So, it's possible. It's doable. It's extremely hard, but it's doable. So if you didn't believe she was a health coach before, you definitely would believe it now after having yeah. a kid and looking like Logan's this. Logan's almost two, and I love him so much, and he's the best. I can't believe he's almost two already. No, he's almost two. Yeah, you know what? And that's another thing you should check out her Instagram for, just yes. to see pictures Logan. of the cutest baby of the underscore aligned with nature. 
There, Logan I said it. Logan <laughs> Elias. He is so, so, so cute. He's going to give the Wolverine a run for his money one day. <laughs> um, hey, the Shadow 305. What's going on? Lone Wolf. Stretch marks. Question mark. Um, I don't, I fortunately did not get any, but here's what I did. Coconut oil every day, like, ev like all day, every day. I was always soaked in coconut oil. Um, what is the other oil? Oh, bio oil I also use. And definitely never scratch. You can't scratch because that will stretch your Are skin. Are they itchy? Uh, um, no, my belly wasn't itchy, but it's also about eating healthy. I worked out my entire pregnancy. Like, Ugh. my entire pregnancy I worked out. Um, and I did core exercises to keep my stomach tight um, throughout my entire pregnancy also. So I have lots of tips for anyone who's thinking of getting pregnant or who's pregnant, just had a baby, lots of tips for you too. Wow. So um, we, coconut oil works better for the stretch marks more so than that all the advertised stretch mark cream that's out there and, and cocoa butter I, and stuff like that? I mean, I used it all. I did use cocoa butter too. I would just lather it up like all day. And you don't Especially have that at night. Mark. No, That's I don't. Amazing. Good I don't. I know. I was I was really lucky, and um, like I said, it, I think you get stretch marks also if you gain a lot of weight really fast. Mm. So since I slowly put on weight, um, thank, thankfully I didn't get stretch marks. Wow. Well, good for you, babe. I'm so proud of you. I was planking, you know, up until I was like eight months pregnant. I think. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Try to stay super fit. Oh my goodness. So, um, why don't you tell them a little bit about wheatgrass? I know you had like a whole segment on that. Yeah. On um, so, alignwithnature.net, you'll find a my blog, and I did a blog on wheatgrass, and um, I use wheatgrass juice powder. But one of the things that I love about wheatgrass is that it actually helps reverse gray hairs. Isn't what? That so crazy. I never heard that. Yes. So if you drink wheatgrass, it helps you reverse your gray hairs. Wow. Like that's awesome. It also helps with your skin. It helps you feel more energetic, more alive. Um, I actually ran out of wheatgrass, and I can always tell when I don't have it. It's it's really great. It's um, I use the powder form, so it's it's all in my blog. Again, alignwithnature.net. Go to my blog, and it's called um, Beauty and the Green Juice. That's what the blog is called, the, the name of that one. Um, and it's a video about it. I show you which the exact um, wheatgrass juice that I drink, and it's awesome. You just put one tablespoon in your water, and you know, it helps you so much in the morning. Instead of having like coffee, or you can have coffee also, but this is just like a huge boost. Um, have, has anyone ever had wheatgrass before? Maybe some of the viewers can comment, maybe after working out at the gym or before working out at the gym. See, here's my issue with wheatgrass. Um, wow, I'm buying it tomorrow? Yes, Aww. please do. Reverse gray hairs. That's fair. <laughs> um, my issue with wheatgrass is that I don't like the way it tastes. So no matter how I eat it eating. or try to eat it, no, it's seriously, it's really, really bad. You have to just hold your nose. Take Who the capsule. There's oh, capsules. I didn't know there was capsules. Yes. That I was so do. for, you I'm know, people those. like Shereo, <laughs> who <laughs> need to make it easier, there are capsules. So just buy the wheatgrass capsules. Okay. Um, yeah, because I would try to, like, mix it to my smoothies and stuff, and it would completely ruin no, the No, I wouldn't smoothie. do that. And then I was uh, I was doing what you are saying. I was holding my nose and just mixing it with water. I and just swallowing it. Before. Yeah, and, and, I, and I did it for about, I don't know, a few months. And after those few months went by, because I was doing it once every day, just, like, the smell of it made me, like, want to gag. Yeah, and, like, you need to take it. My out. body just got so sick of it, of, like, that I just, I couldn't even do that anymore because I, like, almost want to gag it up. And I know I'm not, like, a good promoter. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's really that's okay. So I mean, it. some people are really sensitive to things like that. And yeah. It's important to have options. So I could drink it, but if you can, just take the capsules. Yeah. So uh, Lone Wolf No Cubs is out. I was the impression it gave you an energy boost, or is that sea moss? I don't know about sea moss, um, but yeah, wheatgrass definitely gives you an energy boost. So some they sell it at some gyms. You could take a wheatgrass shot before you work out, and it seriously helps. So again, her website is alignwithnature.net. And go to the blog. The, um, the video for that blog post is called Beauty and the Green Juice. 
Oh, Beauty and the Green Juice. Yeah. That's such a cute name for the blog. Yeah. That's adorable. I mean, the you know, the blog post for, for the wheatgrass. So Can you check post it out. this intel on IG? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also, would a waist trimmer and compression fabric help? Oh, that was in regards to like the stretch mark situation. Oh, okay. Awesome. Would it? They're asking you. A waist oh, I'm sorry. And that was compression like, fabric. Um, I definitely use a waist trimmer. So, another fact when I, uh, after I gave birth, I had diastasis recti, which means it's like ab separation. So, if Ooh, I like. That's so scary. Uh, oh, my God. I can see like my stomach. Yeah. Um, so, if I put two fingers, like. Um, my abs were separated two fingers deep. So like, oh my God. like this much, they separated from like the stretching. So I actually cured my diastasis recti myself by using a waist trainer. Oh. Um, the day I gave birth, I started using it. And um, really a lot the of, same yeah. day you put it on? Yeah, I mean, I was what? in the hospital and the next day, cause I felt so good. I had a water birth and oh it was amazing. Um, so, I can talk to anyone about that also. I can, you know, coach you through that as well. Wow. Um, and I, I really appreciate you keeping it so real right now oh for yeah. us. And mm -hmm. she's literally, like, telling us about this ab separation. Yeah. She's telling us that she did a it's water It's so birth. important. I mean, in this, you know, in the Latino culture, it's called a faja. And so I definitely, it's the same thing. I wore a faja. I wore a waist trainer um, right after I gave birth. And I wore it for, like, the next, like, three months after, I would say. Um, and it really helped. It really helps to bring all your organs back together. Um, <laughs> it makes me feel better. Eric Vega, what's going on? Oh my God, I love these twins. Aww. <laughs> Kisses from you, Eric Vega. I miss performing at your yes. events. When am I going to sing at your next party? How long did it take you? Have you ever tried raps? Um, I have never tried raps. It took me about a month to cure myself because I went to my... Um, OBGYN and it was a month later for my you know my monthly checkup after I gave birth and it was gone so my abs retreated back to where they were and I was wow. fine. What do you think of those like wraps that um you know that are that people are using right now that have right. like um they have the botanical I've never tried it. it. I did a whole episode on it um and I featured one of the girls who, who sells them um, a couple episodes ago. Have you tried it? And she wrapped me on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. My, we did my thighs actually, and they felt firmer and stuff. So I'll have to show you some. Oh stuff yeah, that's that fun. Too. I've never tried it, but I don't say no to anything. I mean, if it's like, unless it's you know, not. What um, is the sea moss that Lone Wolf was talking about? I'm not sure about sea moss. I know about. Um, like kombu, which is a type of seaweed. I love seaweed. I add them in um, um, in soups and in mostly in soups, I would say. But in beans, also, it helps you um, not feel as you know gassy after you have beans. If you put a piece of kombu, K-O-M-B-U, in your beans, um, that really helps. But sea moss, I've never heard. Um, does it make your skin smell? What? The, oh, the wraps. I don't know. Um, it, it, it made it smell good. It made it smell, you know, like, uh, like kind of like vapor rug, minty kind of, um, kind of smell. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Um, so alignwithnature.net is her website. I'm yeah. also going to add her Instagram in here. It's D, at D underscore nature. align with nature. Yeah. Okay. And my Instagram too, guys, is at the real Shereel. Definitely check me out on Instagram. I post new stuff, new pictures there every day at the real Shereel. There we go. Where are we right now? We're at my studio in Manhattan. Uh, this is the Keeping It Real with Shereel show set up over here. And uh, for those of you guys that are new to uh, to the broadcast, this is uh, the beautiful Darlene. She was my first official Big Apple dancer back in 2006. And now she owns her own company called AlignWithNature.net. She's a certified health coach. She specializes in holistic health coaching. She is a mother and uh, she has zero stretch marks, a completely flat stomach. She's so inspirational to all the other 
there uh, pregnant women out there who, uh, you know, just to prove that you can get this body back and after giving birth, even though I still don't think that I could if yes, I did. I'm still scared out of my mind. It starts from, you know, <laughs> it's prenatal care for you and for your baby. And you know what? When I was pregnant, I always heard that, like, you have to have strength for when the baby is like when you have the baby, you need to be able to pick up the baby and like you need back muscles and like arm muscles. Like I am seriously developing more guns just from carrying Logan. Wow. He's like 20 something pounds and I have to hold him with one arm. And like you need to, to be ready for that too. You need to work out and and be ready to for anything, you know, that could happen with your toddler. Like you have to pick them up high for some reason or you know pick something heavy up like you want to be able to, to feel fit and and not feel like you pull the muscle just from doing something silly so why don't you tell them now you know the title of our show today is bikini body challenge so what is this bikini body challenge and what do they have to do like what's this challenge about? okay so for those of you that just joined um health coaching is is it's not something that um, it's not me prescribing you a certain diet and saying this is what you have to do and that's it. Health coaching is me helping you to figure out what works best for your body. So I might, um, you know, I might describe a hundred different diets to you because I was trained at Integrated Nutrition, the world's largest nutrition school, right here in New York City, and we learned over a hundred different dietary theories. So one of those might work for you, maybe two or three of those might work for you. So I'm going to talk you through the process to figure out what works best for you. There's pescatarian, there's vegetarian, there's the paleo diet that one of our viewers mentioned. So the health coaching is listening to your body. It's trying different things. It's investigative work. You're going to try different meals and you're going to say, mm, I felt really good when I ate that or I had no energy after I ate that. I don't want to eat that again. Um, so here's the challenge and it's very simple. And for everyone watching and everyone who is interested, should I tell them this part or should I wait? Yeah, you can tell them, but okay. real quick, Lone Wolf says your shoulders are on fleek. <laughs> My shoulders? Yeah. Hey. They really are. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> and Palm Fern wants to know, are you ready for another baby yet? Not yet. <laughs> oh, that was a quick not, not yet, yet. Too. <laughs> um, But But yeah, I love being a mom and I love Logan so much. Again, you can see pictures of him at D underscore live nature.net. Um, so my challenge for you as a health coach is to help me help you and also to help yourself. All I want you to do is track what you're going to eat for the next three days. So today's Tuesday night. I want you to track Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Tell me what you ate in the morning, how it made you feel right after, and how it made you feel an hour after. Then for lunch, how it made you feel right after, how it made you feel an hour after. For dinner, and if you have more than three meals, please tell me. And if you don't have <laughs> breakfast, you know, you would just write, I don't, I didn't have breakfast. Um, I want to know how the foods you're eating make you feel because we need to talk about that. We need to figure out, okay, this, you felt, you had a, you know, you were, you got in a really bad mood after you ate that piece of cake for dinner. That could be because of the ingredients in that cake. That could be because of the sugar in that cake. So sometimes we don't even realize that there is a food and mood connection. There mm -hmm. absolutely food is. Food and mood connection. Yeah, I like that, the way that sounds too. Yeah, there is. If you eat, you know, if you eat a wonderful salad with all these greens and, and beans and, you know, chicken for those of you that eat chicken, you feel a certain, isn't that right? You feel like a certain way afterwards. I do you know that when I eat my favorite guava and cheese pastelillos from that Cuban spot up the block, I always want to take a nap after that. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I hate you that. I hate, that I hate that that comes with that. Yeah, like, you know when you're eating it, it's amazing. But then afterwards, so yeah. So that's my challenge for you. I want you to write down what you ate and how you felt right after and an hour after for three days until Friday. And I want you to email me at I'm ready at alignwithnature.net. And those of you that do that are going to get a free health coaching session. Free health coaching free health session. Coaching session. 50 minutes with me. You can tell me anything you want, ask me anything you want, one on one. Um, we can Skype or we can do it over the phone. But that's it. It's so easy. I want to know what you're eating and how you feel afterwards. Um, an app that I like to use to like write down notes, I don't know if you have one, but it's called Noted. 
Mm -hmm. um, I write everything on it. Let me just double check the way it's spelled. Okay. I think it's um. All right, guys. So this, listen up because she's giving away free health coaching yes. session. Okay, yes. to all one of you. One. All of you. She just needs to know that you're ready. And in order mm -hmm. to prove that you're ready, so she's not wasting your time and you're not wasting her time to get this free health coaching session, okay? There's literally no obligations. You don't, she's not asking for any credit card no, or anything like nothing. that. It's literally just one -on -one, email like her this. your Skype ID or your phone number yeah. along with what you ate and how you felt for the past three days. And for the I next promise three days. for the next three days. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday night, I want you to email me. So the app that I write down notes and it's easy to just like press the app and like write down whatever note you want to write. Um, it's called Noted, N-O-T-E apostrophe D. And it's free on my iPhone and I write down a bunch of notes and you can just simply go into that app, write down what you had, how you felt right after, and then how you felt an hour after. DR to Paris says, does the feeling have to be mood only to describe it? No, absolutely not. Tell me your mood, tell me if you got a stomach ache, tell me if you were starving. So here's an example. Um, even if I have a healthy breakfast, like if I have a protein shake for breakfast with like frozen berries, um, my favorite protein, which is, um, Raw protein by Garden of Life. Ooh, I love that too. Yeah. It actually tastes good. It doesn't yeah, like it's ruin chocolate. the flavor. Yeah. Of so it. if I have that for breakfast, I feel amazing right after, but an hour after I'm starving. So I can't just have that for breakfast. Mm -hmm. If I have that with eggs for breakfast, mm -hmm. then I'm fine and I'm sustained for hours and I feel good. So that's just an example. Even though it's a healthy breakfast, like it, I that's not enough for me in the morning. Um, so I want to know your mood. I want to know if you have any physical ailments afterwards or if you feel amazing an hour later or if you're thinking about chocolate because... <laughs> what if you're always thinking about chocolate? I mean, <laughs> everyone... Okay, everyone wants sugar all the time because that's just your body asking for energy. So that's it. Like, if you have a sugar craving, your body is asking for energy. The, the way that I can help you you know, change your eating habits habits and your lifestyle is to help you figure out how to curb those cravings. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so many ways to do that. I have a sweet tooth. We all have a sweet tooth, but there yeah. are ways to like yeah. to curb that sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. I'm here for you. I have one too. Speaking of sweet tooths, I've been dying, dying, dying to know your famous recipe for black bean brownies. All right. Yeah. This is like a secret, secret recipe. Yeah. She's revealing it to all my viewers <laughs> today on the show. So explain these black bean brownies. Well, what, do they taste like black beans? No, no absolutely not. Do they taste so like brownies? They taste like brownies. Oh my they God. They absolutely taste like brownies. They have protein in them. You won't get a sugar rush from them. You'll get sustained, long-lasting energy, and they taste like chocolate. And the sweetener in, in the black bean brownies is bananas, so you you don't have to add, like, refined sugar. Did you know that sugar is made in the same way that cocaine is made? The no. same exact process. No. Mm -hmm. What? Sugar is Explain a drug. that. Yeah, it is. How is it made? So a lot of vegans don't even eat refined sugar because it's made, the way it's grinded is with animal bones. Did you know that? Sugar is grinded just like cocaine is grinded with animal bones to get it into that really fine, fine, small structure. Um, yeah. So it's, an, it's a drug just like cocaine is a drug and it makes you have highs and lows just like any drug. Mm -hmm. So I want to help you through your sugar addiction also. There are, there are many ways to, to fight sugar and to substitute your diet with healthy sugar. Okay. Like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is a healthy sugar substitute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what I else? mean, it's not like you're going to add a sweet potato to your coffee, but if you have, for example, a sweet potato at night, mm -hmm. and since that's sweet, you're not going to have that sugar craving. Nah, I don't know if I would choose um, a sweet potato at night over something else. Give me another one. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, let's say if you had a banana for lunch. Mm-hmm. Since your body already has that sugar in your system, your body's not going to crave as but much I always sugar. crave sweets before bed. So what else could I have before bed? Before instead of ice cream instead of, you cream. know, candy or cookies you know or what's whatever really good? are a lot of the go-to things yeah. that people go to. You know what's really good for the summer? What? And you have a Nutribullet. Mm -hmm. um, 
grind up a bunch of frozen berries and bananas mm -hmm. and make popsicles. Oh my god, I did make popsicles. See? I have two of them for us that we can have for dessert. That's so I great. To tell you, That's this is what I did. Idea. I took raspberries and I um, pureed them in the, in like a little mini blender thing. And then I took um, Greek yogurt mm -hmm. and I put like little layers of the raspberries in the Greek yogurt and I add a little bit of coconut nectar. That's perfect. Um, and yeah, so I have those ice pops. So do you have them when yeah. you have your sugar craving? Uh, you should. <laughs> once in a while. Once in a while. I don't make them too often. I, I made them mostly because I thought of you. That's but, awesome. Um, I mean, that's really good. Hey, Vic, too happy. Thanks for the restream. Thank you. How have you been? Okay. Are you laughing at me, Lone Wolf No Cubs? Have tea before bed. Yeah, but that makes me pee in the middle of the night. But I do <laughs> like how diuretic. if sure. I drink like a cup of tea, sometimes when I'm hungry, it'll sometimes take away my hunger. Oh, which is here's good. another one. Drink sometimes when you're when you think you're hungry, you're actually just really thirsty. So sometimes when we're hungry, drink a tall glass of water and wait ten minutes. You have to wait the full ten minutes. Yeah. Now. Right. I mean, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, wait at least 10 minutes, and I bet you won't feel like that crazy hunger again because your body might just be thirsty. The one, Carlitos, how are you? Hi. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes I'll try to do that too. Either just have some tea or have mm -hmm. some water, wait a little bit, see if I'm still hungry or if I was just thirsty and, and mistaking it for hunger. Mm -hmm. I've definitely heard that quite a few times, and that's a good one for everyone to yeah. remember. Hey. Um, but but real quick, back up a second. You still didn't tell me what are the ingredients in these famous black bean brownies. Oh well, it's about? on my blog also. Okay. But it's black beans. Align with cocoa nature. Cocoa powder. Net. It's espresso powder. Oh, cocoa powder. I have that. That's great. Black beans, cocoa powder, espresso powder. I've never heard of espresso powder. Espresso. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> espresso powder. Um, bananas. Mm -hmm. You need chocolate chips or carob chips if you're going the vegan route because chocolate has milk in it. Mm -hmm. um, carob what chips. about dark chocolate chips? It has milk. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. I don't think so. Um, this milk chocolate is called milk chocolate. Milk yeah, chocolate. but dark chocolate. I'm not milk sure. Milk. I'm not sure. But um, cacao nibs, have you ever heard of those? Yes. Yeah, yes. those are great um, for that also you can use for um, the chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. What am I missing? It's also on my blog. They're called, uh, it's under recipes, and it's called Black Bean Brownies. I can't wait to try that. I've been yeah. meaning and to try that. And you can eat that at night, too. Have that's you not seen you or heard of purple sweet potatoes? Yes, I have. Hmm. Please start or create a sweet tooth cooking segment. Oh, I like that. Um, yeah, that is a good idea. Now, these purple sweet potatoes, what are they? Just the same thing? Just a different color? Any, yeah. Any different taste or anything? I don't think so. I don't remember. I've tried them once, but um, I love sweet potatoes, and they do help. And it's not, if you have a, a sugar craving, and, you know, I'm not going to tell you to have a sweet potato right then and there, but if you're training your body to have sweet vegetables throughout the week, mm -hmm. you're going to crave that sugar less because your body is getting it already. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Um, Vic Too Happy is your friend of personal trainer. She is actually a certified health coach specializing in holistic health coaching. Yes. And she was my first Big Apple dancer. I was. And she's a new mom. <laughs> and I do give um, advice on wellness and, you know, lifestyle changes. So that does include workouts as well. I'm not a trainer, but I do give, you know, advice on working out also. And she is offering a free health coaching session yes. okay is the session yeah. the same thing as a consultation or different like the next step yeah that's the next step okay yeah. so everyone gets a free consultation everyone gets a free consultation but then if you want a free health coaching session in yes. addition to that yeah you just need to you just prove have to do that the you're challenge. ready by doing this three-day challenge mm -hmm which um, she mentioned before and she's going to mention yes. again at the end of the episode. Yep. Um, tell them real quick what the challenge is again, the okay. short version. So everyone gets a free consultation. So if you want your free consultation, all you have to do is email me at I'm ready, I-M-R-E-A-D-Y, at alignwithnature.net. Um, so we'll talk one-on-one -on -one just like this, either through Skype or over the phone. If you want an additional session, um, so your first health coaching session after your consultation, you have to do this three-day challenge, and it's super, super easy. Tell me what you ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for three days in a row. Tell me what you ate, how you felt right after you ate it, 
and how you felt an hour later. Tell me about your mood, about um, if you felt really good, if you felt hungry, if you felt tired, if you felt mad, because there is a food and mood connection. And I, I want to know how food affects you, what you're eating affects you. Um, because like we said in the beginning of the show, it's not all about working out. It's also about food. It's about changing your lifestyle and yeah. incorporating it all together. Yeah. Hey Manuel Agadis. Hey like uh, Ray Real Azali. What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 22 of Keeping It Real with Shereel. This is my weekly show, guys. If you're new to my weekly show, make sure you hit that follow button so you can get a push notification every time I go live. I go live every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, and I feature a different guest, including my sexy Big Apple dancers like this girl right here, and we always keep it real with you guys. We always answer all your questions, and we're truthful and honest, and I expose all the drama in the entertainment industry. I try to help people. People and give advice um, you know today's advice is you know how to get that bikini body and how to just be healthier eat healthier and feel healthier yep. so um, also you know thank you guys for you know all the all the repeat viewers right now that tune in every week I do for recognize your usernames comments. I love you guys and I love seeing the same usernames over and over again it Thanks. makes me feel like you know like I should keep doing this for you so if you want me to continue doing this hit that like button hit that share share button, hit that restream button. I, I appreciate all of the love and support. And I love that you guys are always asking so many cool questions that keep us, you know, intrigued and just keep us communicating yeah. and keep this, you know, the episodes fun and spicy. Um, Thanks for listening. Cooking segment sounds good. Cook next week. We should do a, do a cooking episode. Yeah, once. I'm down. The only thing that's hard with that is I need to figure out a way to set up all the cameras so yeah. everyone can, like, well, see Well, we can do kitchen. something, like, we can show how to mix everything or what the ingredients are exactly and then show the finished product. Yeah. That would that's be a good idea cool. too. So I like um, lone wolf, no cubs comment. So eating sweet veggies can manipulate the body's sugar cravings. Yes, mm. it can. Along with other things. Again, that's why I'm a health coach. I'm here to help you um, figure out how to make your body work its best and to fight those sugar cravings because everyone has them. That's just your body asking for energy. Hi, Dr. Rock. What's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, well, that's really cool to know. So what are like your favorite meals, your favorite recipes? My besides, favorite recipes. obviously, these big, uh, these uh, black bean brownies, yeah. which yeah. I'm so excited well, to try. And you guys should too. Again, for the black bean brownie recipes that taste like brownies yes. and not black beans. It's, go to my website, uh, linewithnature.net. It's under um, recipes and it's under desserts, black bean brownies. So another one of my favorites is the quinoa salad that we were talking mm -hmm. about today. I made her a quinoa salad. Yeah, the quinoa salad afterwards. is so pretty. I can do filling. a wedding. I didn't even show it to them anything but not. I mean, it looks so pretty. Nice. You have to post that picture. Yeah. Um, that's also my favorite. I love this squash soup that I make in the fall. Mm. Sometimes I love the summer, but the only reason why I like fall coming is because I make this squash soup like every week. My grandma gave me an amazing soup recipe that I make all the time that I should share with you. It's it's vegan, creamy, broccoli, cauliflower soup. Mm. So first what I do is I get like a like a vegetable broth cube, mm -hmm. a low sodium one obviously, mm -hmm. and um and, and you boil that water, then you add the um the cauliflower, the broccoli raw, you add um, sweet potatoes and uh, and onions. And, uh, oh, and, and you like saute the, um, the potatoes and onions first before you add yeah, it to everything. Yeah, and the then once on. everything is all like, you know, cooked and simmered for a while, you take an immersion blender mm -hmm. and then you just blend everything together and it just comes out oh, pure, creamy, liquid. It's I don't so have good. an immersion blender. I need to get one. Oh, you don't? No. Oh my God. I, I have a hot one. pink one. It's so cute. And I yeah, love it. I definitely You're, yeah, one. you definitely need one of those. We look like sisters, Vic, too happy. Aw, in college we used to tell everybody that yeah. we were sisters. D trucking. Thank you for the restream, honey. Okay, so um, so that came with thing. What what else are your favorite recipes? Um, so I said the soup. Mm -hmm. uh, I love soups, like any any kind of soup, really. Um, I also posted this recipe on my Instagram, d underscore align with nature dot net. No, no, um, there's no dot net on the Instagram. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> d underscore align with nature. Um, it's sweet potatoes and sautéed um, onions and spinach. Did you see that? I posted it last week. Mm. It's so good. It does sound good. Yeah, it's really, really delicious. I love it. Um, 
Thank you for the follows, e trucking. What is a restream? Um, when they post my stream on their Twitter. Really cool. Yeah, thanks guys. Meerkat's connected to sort of so we got Meerkat, we got Hang With, we got you now, we got Periscope, all live simultaneously. I said hi. This is to all <laughs> you guys right now. Um, this is episode 22. Can you believe we did 22 episodes already? Keeping it real with Shereel. This is my girl Darlene, my very first big apple dancer. She owns alignmentnature.net. She's a certified health coach, guys. So all of your health related and food related questions, this is your time to ask her anything and everything because she promises to keep it real with you yep. if you guys missed the, the first half of this episode um you can go to hangwith.me slash shereel martinez and you can watch the whole archive i'm also gonna um post it on my youtube youtube.com slash shereel martinez if you guys want to hear the rest of the tips from earlier in the episode and for all you mommies who want to get fit or who are fit mommies Big shout out to you. I'm also a mommy of a 20 month old. Okay. And I tried to stay fit throughout my entire pregnancy and throughout motherhood also. You can do it. Can you I believe this girl is a mom, guys? This girl is a mom. Oh I still can't goodness. believe it. It's been around for them. Look at this waist. Look at this waist right here. Can you believe that there was a baby inside this there stomach? Was. There was a baby. Only like a year or two ago? Yeah. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. She's an inspiration for girls who are afraid to get pregnant because they think they're going to ruin their bodies. Yeah. And by <laughs> eating healthy. Hey, um, boy, Spartan. Thanks for the follow. Should I Dr. Them? Rock, do I still sing? Of course I still sing. I do a DJ Shereel Deal episodes where I take requests and sing whatever <laughs> you guys want. I'll be nice. doing another one of those soon. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Should you tell them what? Um, sure, sure. That's exciting. Okay. So for my pregnancy, um, I worked out almost every day, except the first trimester. It was really difficult to work out. Um, but throughout my pregnancy, I also ate super healthy and was very, very consistent with eating healthy. So I only gained 15 pounds. Wow. Yeah. And wow. It, that's why it was really easy to come off. Oh I didn't God. say, you know what, I'm eating for two. Let me just eat ice cream because I'm pregnant. Like, I really was strict with myself. And I said, my baby needs the most nutritious foods possible. I'm going to do that. Um, of course, I had cravings. I'm not going to lie. I had pizza very often. Mm. I did. Mm -hmm. That was my craving. Yeah. And I had pizza, but it wasn't like I had it every day. You know, I, I had it once in a while. But it, And that's that's how life is anyway. You can't be perfect every day. Yeah. One meal isn't going to make a break. You can have a couple, a couple of cheat meals just yeah. to keep yourself happy. You know, yeah, as you long can. As you're I mean, we're on human. the right track in general. And maybe yeah. like once a, once a week, would you say, you can give yourself your cheat meal? Yeah. Maybe help and the rest of the day? Yeah, exactly. Can you have a cheat meal twice a week? Um, <laughs> I mean, you can. It's not like, it's all about making an effort to be healthy as much as possible. So if I'm taking the stairs anywhere, unless it's like a crowded subway stairs, I'm going to take them two at a time. Because I just am. Because I'm trying to work my butt and you know maximize my my um, my exercise at any time of the day. So I'm even I at. I thought to take the subway stairs too. Yeah, take it to oh, the I've been time. riding my bicycle instead of taking the subway this summer in the city. That's great. I'm I, a bicycle everywhere. It's important to walk as often as you can. You know, just don't try not to be lazy. It's hot. Yeah. Outside, but you know, just yeah. I've tried to make every moment into something that you could do healthier for your body, for your life. Am I a mother, lone wolf, no cubs? No, I'm not, uh, and I'm not sure I want to be, but thanks to this girl, I want to be a little bit more than, uh, than I She's used to want to be mom. at least. So I used to be like here about being a mom. After seeing her go through her pregnancy, I was more like here, but I'm still only at like the 50% range. So, uh, be a great mom. so, so we'll see what happens in my future. But um, your baby must have ordered a pizza after the delivery. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so oh, Logan cute. is a, he's still a vegetarian. Yeah. He hasn't had the privilege of eating pizza yet. He eats well, like super can eat pizza, so he's a well, vegan. He's a vegan. Yeah, like, no, because he uh, he eats eggs, oh, okay. but he hasn't tried cheese. But I'm training him from like 
and infants to mm -hmm. eat healthy. So he eats, like, if I put a plate of spinach in front of him, he'll eat it. Mm -hmm. He'll eat beans like they're like gummy bears. Mm -hmm. Like, you think that's, those are treats. Mm -hmm. I'm not a mean mom. I'm just <laughs> training him to be healthy, and he enjoys food. He's very healthy. He's, like, super energetic, and, um, yeah, he's super healthy. So, so let me ask yeah. you this. You know, a couple years down the road, if he wants to try a burger, are you going to let him? I mean, yeah, I can't not let him. But like, what if he wants know to, food, like, you know? eat a bag of chips? You're going to let him do that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's a kid. He's going to do kid things, but, you know, he's going to appreciate food and know what real food is like. He loves rice and beans. He'll eat a whole bunch of that. That's good because GMO Monsanto is taking over. Yeah. Even organic stuff. I mean, it's so hard to even get something that's like really, really organic. Yeah, you know, I heard that like the FTC oh. and just, uh, you know, just basically not everything that says organic, you can really trust yeah. is really organic. You have to check like multiple In the food tasks. and health, you know, legal type world, people are just paying, 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 paying people off basically. Yeah. So for labels and whatnot, so we can't always yeah. believe the labels. Like the USDA organic doesn't necessarily mean it's organic. But we how is that, like how is that okay? It's not okay. It's not okay. I don't understand. And it's scary. Oh, so I have a funny story about. Whole Foods? Uh, no, about. Um, what happened with Whole Foods? Daniel. Um, Whole Foods, I heard this like maybe two years ago, but that they weren't going to have like an organic section anymore because everything is just kind of cross pollinated. So everything, okay. nothing can be organic. Yeah. Like 100%. Wow. So, what happened with Daniel? so Daniel came home last week, he's going to kill me, um, with mm. Cheerios, but yeah. like the one that says protein Cheerios. Has anyone ever heard of this new Cheerios out there? Um, it supposedly has like more protein. He's like, oh my gosh, look at this cereal. Aren't you so proud of me? Aww. So I turn the box over. I'm like, let's see. <laughs> There's 17 grams of sugar. Oh, it's no. terrible. Like it's terrible. It sounds familiar. <laughs> it's so bad. It's it's really hard to eat healthy because the marketing is all about tricking you. Like yeah. they'll make it sound like it's good, but that don't get Cheerios protein. The one that says protein. It's 17 grams like of sugar. I feel like anything really that's boxed, if you turn it around, yeah. you're going to see sodium. You're going to see sugar. You're going to yeah, see it's really hard. carbs. You're going to see all yeah. you know the stuff that it's just unavoidable. And yeah. most people read the front of the boxes, and if it says you know low fat yeah, or light or this or that, or that you, yeah. but not, I'd say, what, maybe 5% of people actually turn the box around and read I it. I hope it's more than 5%. throw stuff <laughs> in your shop. Because people are rushing, you know? Yeah. I, 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 That's why you have to eat as many whole, unprocessed foods as possible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're going to have a sweet potato, you know that it's just a sweet potato. Yeah. Of course, hopefully it's organic and, you know. Hopefully. Hopefully <laughs> it doesn't have pesticides all over it. But even that is better. Like, if you can only get non-organic vegetables and fruits, it's better than get getting no vegetables and fruits. Like, get How those fruits. How bad out. is eating something that's not organic. Let's take an avocado, for example. Mm -hmm. There are organic avocados and regular avocados. Now, an avocado has such a thick, you know, shell to begin yeah, with. Is it really absolutely yeah. necessary to get the organic avocado? And yes. what is, um, like, the real difference Because there? there are so many more nutrients in the soil itself that it's grown from. So the taste is different. If you have a, an organic banana versus a non-organic banana, it tastes so different. And really? organic bananas have so many more nutrients because the soil itself has more nutrients. It's not killed off by like all pesticides and mm -hmm. everything that's put into the soil. So it starts from the soil. Because you think something like banana, it's like, you know, it, you can't get, you know, the pesticides and stuff inside the banana if it has that no, thick outside. No, because come, it comes from the ground. Mm -hmm. It comes from the soil. Well, the that's interesting, in the soil. guys. Yep. That's interesting. It has more nutrients, more vitamins. Or, um, the organic vegetables and fruits than the non-organic. So that's why it is important to get it. So is there any box stuff that you would buy? Well, by box, you know, packaged, processed, like the protein that I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. Garden of Life mm -hmm. products are obviously boxed and packaged. Um, so I have the Garden of Life vitamins. I have their raw protein and now I have their raw meal, which I like better. Right, it's less grainy. Okay. 
All right, real quick, because there's only 30 seconds left on this. Yeah. Again, guys, if you want to enter her challenge, first of all, everyone here gets a free seconds. consultation, but yeah, email yeah. her. I'm ready at alignwithnature.net. Uh, with, with the foods that you eat for the next three days and how you feel, and she's going to give you a free health coaching session in addition to, to the, the free, free health consultation. consultation. All yeah. right, guys, it's alignwithnature.net. I'm ready at alignwithnature.net. Check us out on Instagram at the real Shereel and D underscore align with nature. That's for the hang with people that uh, uh, are about to end in a couple minutes, uh, I mean, in a couple seconds rather. Um, Okay, guys, so again, this was episode 22 of Keeping It Real with Shereel. Thank you so much for everyone for tuning in and for keeping